Part of the best thing about coming to SEMA is the styles and creativity in the cars usually is the, what I think of them as artwork. And uh, when I saw Brian Fuller's motorcycle that he has in the ARP booth today, I thought it's a beautiful piece of art and clearly took a lot of effort and apparently several people involved. So Brian, can you tell me about the bike? Sure. This is the uh, Shogun, it was six years of work. Wow, I mean, it's kind of small. Why did it take six years? Uh, well, it's all covered in Japanese engraving. General idea is the art of metal. I understand you said you were making the sheet metal parts of it. So let's yeah. take the tank, for example. You made the tank. Did you have to add this extra material to the outside for the engraving to not, or like how thick is the material no. you started with? It's about 90 thou material, okay. so it's not super thick. I mean, that's a pretty reasonable amount. But okay. uh, some of the places what we did to make it look thicker is for example, like kind of on the edges, mm -hmm. it's bead rolled up. So it's a normal technique. It just looks, when it's engraved, it makes it look like it's three eighths of an inch thick. Right, that's what I was thinking. And it's not, yeah, it's not. Okay. So it's actually a very light bike. I mean, it's uh, about 275 pounds okay. thereabout. Got a John Cozzi motor, which is big Ford right. motor fame right. uh, builder. It's 600 cc's now. Okay. And um, yeah, it's light. I mean, I rode it for, for six years during the kind of the build process. Mm -hmm. I was terrified of the tank because it's one of the most expensive tanks right. in the world. Right, I can imagine. <laughs> Tell me about how you got the artwork on the pieces. You made the sheet metal, yep. so, and then what happened? Like the tank, for example, so I, I made that, and then we would send it to Totem, who is a, an amazing artist out of Atlanta. He's known for being a graffiti artist, okay. uh, but he did all this in Sharpie. Okay. So uh, Japanese art has to be very specific. So if, if you look at, for example, the forks, one side means art, the other side means steel, which kind of in lip, you know, loose Japanese translation for me meant the art of metal. Oh, um, okay. You've got the different things that you can do to metal, cutting it, joining it, heating it, um, the light. Yeah. Uh, kanji on top means illumination. Okay. Uh, there's speed and power on the opposite side on the clutch cable or uh, clutch and the ignition. Oh. You've got the god of wind on the seat, which it has nice. its own funny meaning. <laughs> you take it however I got you it. like. <laughs> um, so once Totem was done, yeah. I sent it to Tay Herrera, okay. who is a master engraver. He did all of Jesse James firearms. Okay. He did Indian Larry's motors and bikes, if you ever saw those. Okay. And so piece by piece, Send one to Totem, Yeah. send it to Tay, and this circle continues to go oh. for six years and piece by piece by piece. Did you have to wait for it to come back before you built the other piece so that you knew that they all fluidly went together? Because you built pieces as they were engraving, We would take correct? them off the bike and then give them to, you know, give them to, to each guy and move them okay. through. Um, and then, you know, obviously if you look at some of the special we're here, the ARP booth at SEMA, of right. course. Right, you have it covered with ARP hardware. And you know, they made us a lot of specials on this bike. I don't know okay. exactly how many specials are on here, but I would guess they're easily 40, uh, 40 to 60 special fasteners. For example, if you look at the heads, you know, these were uh, yep. Inconel, big monster, like landing gear bolts. Okay. That like Boeing would use. Okay. And so they take these, CNC them mm -hmm. into uh, its own part, so okay. there needs to be a cover. I mean, just these bolts, right. those eight bolts, right. are probably worth what a normal CV 550 is worth. Right. You know what I mean? Those right. eight, eight bolts right there. Right, right. So you like uh, working with ARP and coming up with, I mean, how, how easy is it to work with them to come up with, uh, like you're saying, uh, the custom you need? Well, they're just the, I mean, they're the best. I mean, they, they make, you know, top quality <laughs> fasteners for, anything you need to stay together. Right. If you want it to just be there and never worry, I never worry that one of my fasteners is gonna break. It's just, it's not in my, you know, vocabulary anymore. We've been using mm -hmm. ARP for 10 years and right. we just don't break bolts. It's a, it's a great part of life. Right. You, know, you build every day. <laughs> So when you're designing something, uh, especially the hardware, and you need it to be custom, do you just call ARP and say, it's gotta be quarter 20 and this diameter, or do you do the drawing for them, or do they do the drawing for you? We, How does that work? We do a drawing um, <clears throat> for them, and then we spec it, and they, mm -hmm. they build it, ship it out. I mean, yeah. it's a pretty, you know what I mean? Pretty easy to work yeah. with. Yeah, oh yeah, Okay. Sure. Um, and tell me about uh, the motor itself. Did you modify it drastically? Uh, it went 600 cc. If you look at the, the heads, mm -hmm. um, these mimic the original stainless little you know, kind of part that goes on right. to the exhaust flange. Right. But we had to make every little one of them 
uh, water jet, hand wow. polish it, pre-polish, then weld. So there's like 64 of those. Oh my gosh. That takes a while. <laughs> um, but the grips, to me, are one of the coolest things. These were actually made by a real samurai sword maker in Japan. It took two years to get them back. Oh my so God. thread by thread, he, he wound these for us. Oh, wow. And then, okay. So I had them back in my hand like two years later, sat on the bench for another three years. Oh, oh geez. And so after five years, I finally whoop, slid them on. They fit perfect. Right. And um, it's just, to me, one of the cooler things about it. Okay, so Brian, I can appreciate the effort, the teamwork that went into this. Um, and like you're saying, everybody's part was so instrumental. And uh, we appreciate that you brought it out to us to see this beautiful piece of artwork and for sharing it with Thank all you. Us. Thank Great you. Great to see you as Good always. Job. Good job. Bye.